Royal Highness and uh, General Edwards, based on what you said before, the state partnership program with Jordan and Colorado was established in 2004. So for eight years, both of you have shown great leadership in forging one of the best partnerships that exist between the United States and any of our security partners and allies around the world. So we thank you for that. We would like to have this opportunity all over the past eight years. If you would please share with us, Your Royal Highness, your impressions of the value and benefit of this partnership with Colorado in which you played such an important role to help establish. Well, so I think um, the partnership goes uh, well beyond the eight years that you're talking about since it's become a formal partnership. Um, it's a relationship uh, that's built on um, a mutual trust. Uh, it's been um, built also under fire. Um, and we have worked uh, together very, very well. And I think the strength of that relationship, as General Wood said, it's no longer uh, a partnership of friends, but really um, a sense that we are one family. Uh, and this is, that's, I think, the strength of the relationship uh, that exists. And allow us to uh, do uh, a lot of uh, great real-world um, operations um, together, and, and uh, Unified Protector was one of those uh, great successes that um, we think uh, what we, we achieved and our ability to be integrated in that with the support of the Colorado Air National Guard uh, was critical to the successful outcome of that program. So we're seeing it not just as being um, uh, a theoretical uh, partnership, but we're actually seeing it being done in the field um, as friends and as, as brothers and uh, as a family. Well, thank you very much for that, Your Royal Highness. General Edwards, would you like to add to that, sir? Well, from the family perspective, you know, to me, this has been such a, an amazing uh, opportunity for Colorado to be a part of this because what you end up discovering as a family member is that you find out the, the likenesses and you also get to work on the opportunities to discover each other and, and work on the differences. And so it, it's just been an absolute uh, outstanding opportunity for Colorado to become family mm -hmm. members with our Jordanian brothers and sisters because we discover how much we are alike uh, in the issues that we deal with, whether it's on the military side or whether it's on the civilian side. Because many, many times, His Royal Highness and I, we, we talk about the issues of water in Jordan, uh, the shortage of water in Jordan, the shortage of water in Colorado, and what we as a state and what Jordan is doing as a country to try to alleviate those issues. So it becomes much more than a discussion about the military relationship, but it, it truly is things that we are concerned about in, in our nation, in, in, in particular our state of Colorado, and what Jordan's concerned about. We share so many commonalities. Thank you, sir. As you know, Your Royal Highness, uh, America is very proud to have a friend and a partner in Jordan. You are one of our most important allies, guides, and supporters in helping us create a region of peace and stability in an area where there are many challenges. As you and General Edwards look to the future, Your Royal Highness, for the State Partnership Program, would you share any thoughts about how we might strengthen and develop this great partnership even further? I think, as, as General Edwards had said, I think it, what started off as very much uh, a mill-to-mill -mill, uh, partnership has been growing beyond that. Um, and um, we've uh, had some uh, civilian military. We've also now trying to expand it to really focus a lot deeper on the civil-to-civil -civil side. I think there's a lot, as, as the, the General had said, that we share in common, common challenges. Um, and to be able to learn from, from that, that common experience is how we overcame the challenges, how we do things, um, to be able to, to discuss issues, to be able to work things, uh, things through. Um, I really hope that it, it will continue to expand into more and more fields um, across whether it's, it's uh, medical, whether it's uh, civilian, whether it's issues of water, uh, issues of environment, renewable energy, um, you know, even we had uh, quickly talked about shale oil and, and the challenges that that um, uh, can bring. 
So I think there's a lot more that we can do. Uh, and I think we're just still exploring um, uh, that relationship and, and, and building it and growing it um, into something that I think will really serve both the state of Colorado and Jordan and I think strengthen that, that really great bond that exists between the United States and Jordan. Uh, I think Colorado is a, is, uh, has been a very, very good fit for, for us, um, a very good fit on the relationship. But it bodes, I think, uh, well for the greater relationship that exists between our two nations. Thank you very much, sir. General Edwards, anything you would like to add to that, sir? You know, His Royal Highness covered that very well. It's, uh, to me, it's, it's very interesting when you look at the, the situation, because with my background as a farmer, uh, I, I find it very interesting when I travel to Jordan and, and I've visited with His Royal Highness about the issues that they're dealing with with the water situation and how to convince farmers to conserve water. I, I will tell you, my governor in Colorado is dealing with the same exact issue. And so when we travel to Jordan, I, I very much enjoy the opportunity to see what Jordan is doing because I believe we can learn from Jordan so much more about how to be much more efficient in the agricultural business. And, and of course, that's a very strong uh, business in Colorado that we worry about. So when I, when I look at those types of things, it, it, it is. It's such a great fit between us. Uh, and, and I think what I would urge for looking at the future is let us help to, to determine that future, what Jordan sees as a requirement and what Colorado sees as a requirement, and then help, help to support that as we move forward because that, that, I think, is really key to making this just continue to be the most successful partnership that there is. Excellent. I, I know it might sound uh, corny, but um, as a conference, I had a, a great motto, which I think really applies here. Um, and the motto of that conference was together stronger. And I think that's what this partnership is about. Together, that relationship, you know, uh, has built so much, you know, gives so much strength uh, to both, uh, both states um, and the United States. And I think that's a secret that we have and Absolutely. we've got to keep working on it um, and building on it but I think it's been very successful uh, and I think we're still at the very early stages I, I would hope of developing that relationship there's still so much more that we can do and slowly we're getting there we're expanding thank you very much for that sir and we want to congratulate you on your vision in setting up the Falcon Air Meet and how that has developed over the years and is a classic example of how that has led to more interoperability, not only between Jordan and the United States, but also other countries in the region. And that was a huge step forward. We are also grateful for Jordan's leadership in the region and looking for a peaceful and stable region facing a lot of challenges. And again, we're very proud to be a partner and to be associated with you. Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions and comment on the State Partnership Program. Thank you. Michael, is there anything you'd like to add? Uh, that would be my next question to both of you. Was there anything else that you feel like you could have uh, touched on a little more? Or is, uh, do you feel like you've said everything you wanted to say? I, I think what I, would, uh, what I would say from a personal, personal standpoint about this partnership and the appreciation that I have for my Jordanian brothers and sisters is their attitude towards attaining peace and, and working towards peace always. Uh, His Royal Highness mm -hmm. works a program that's working with young children, uh, Sports for Peace, and it's the whole attitude really of the Jordanian culture that they try to find ways to find peace rather than conflict. And I just have personally have so much admiration for, for everything. That, it, that they, they stand Can you tell for. us a little bit about their program, sir? <laughs> well, I think, well, Generation of Peace is a so program that I, I know that, that the general has, has, um, <laughs> has been following. No, I, you know, I think sometimes people look at us, you know, in uniform in the military and think that all we are is about war. And, and I think what people don't appreciate is really what we're about is peace. We're there to keep the peace, to help... Um, um, establish peace and not just within our own states or within our own borders but to play that global um, citizenship role um, and, and 
where we've had to stand up and, and, and be counted and do what needs to be done, do the right thing. I think that's because of the common values that we share um, and the common commitment to making the world a better place. Um, so uh, although we're in uniform, really what we're all about is actually making peace. And sports and you peace. see as a potential avenue towards uh, creating that, that well, environment. Well, our program in, in Generations for Peace um, looks at, at, at sports as being a tool for conflict transformation, mm -hmm. um, and, and particularly working with, uh, with children, we've had a lot of success. Sports has a role to play in bringing communities together, um, and we've seen that uh, quite clearly. It won't solve all the problems uh, of the world, um, but has a great... Um, can contribute greatly to um, what they call sports for peace and development. Uh, and with those goals in mind, I think we've, we've been very, very successful and we've seen a lot of good that it can do uh, in the world. And, and again, it's, it's uh, as I said, although we're in uniform, what we're really there is not about war, but about peace. Your Royal Highness, thank you very much for taking the time for your kind comments. General Edwards, thank you. Welcome and congratulations to again to both of you for one of the best partnerships that exist anywhere. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.